Hello the kids, it is I, Strike Hat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we are, uh, just came out of our cryostasis pod, and found our wife dead and hers, after the events that happened during our cryosleep. So, now we're taking our first steps into a much larger world, figuring out what the hell happened in the rest of the vault. Uh, which, ooh, new. Well, we might be putting that on because it's simply new, so thusly it must be better. There we go. Uh, let's see if everything is the same in here where everyone died. Yeah, to life support failure seems to be the case. Yep. Yep, that's what happened. So, I am literally all alone in here. Oh, knock that down. Not like anyone else is going to be using it. Alright. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Ugh. Oh. That's not good. Also, I assume that symbol means that would actually be the door out of here. Well, the door to the next door out of here, the vault door. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to be nice. Okay. So we're going to have to find an alternate route. I think would be probably through the Overseer's Tunnel, if I remember correctly, and how these things were built. Oh, that's a big old rad roach. Oh, and it moves quite a bit more than I remember it moving in prior games. Nice security baton. Oh, security baton. Eventually my mouth says words correctly. Uh, let's just pick up all the stuff in here. There we go. Uh, security terminal. What is that? Oh, it shows all of the important stuffs that we need to read. Okay. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term offense of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Oh, that's why we weren't told shit. Okay. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff acti activity. I can't speak English today, apparently. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Subordination or interference with vault operations or capital offenses, security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Well, that's a little bit overkill, don't you think? All you need to do is tell them to get back on track. Jesus. Resident admittance. Upon activation notice from vault -Tec, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research, uh, research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each of the escort each to the designated cryogenic pods. Jesus, I can't. I'm reading too far ahead, and that's screwing me over. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary sealed into their preservation chambers dispose of any detainees vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances what the fuck does that mean what you just do cannibalism and then <laughs> ew what the hell okay staff duties okay now we have a whole new subset members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs that that, that doesn't seem like proper grammar. Must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Oh, that seems like one hell of a workload. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. So, 
the only reason I'm alive is because almost 99% of the resident population is dead and someone remotely saved me? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Alright, that's nice to know. Security patrols would be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Okay, so regular sort of shift. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, and by vault tech. Okay. For signs of intrusion, what does that mean? You're in a vault. If there's any signs of intrusion, you would know. Okay. Faculty services and maintenance. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to overseer discretion. Oh, that's nice. That's wonderful. All clear and evacuation. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels and enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, subsequent attacks uh, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Uh, which, if I remember anything from the other games, that actually never happened for any of them. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, Vault Tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Vault Tech, including government and military. Residents are to be, not to be disrupted or evacuated. Okay, rude. We were told... Okay. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. And apparently that never happened, so... There we go. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear signal from Vault Tech, the Overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. So the Overseer can choose to let them out after 180 days. Okay. That's nice to know. Uh, security logs. Oh, this must... Oh, yeah. Clearance vault Tech security. So this must be the security terminal. The day of the war. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads try to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment. For a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Apparently not. Okay. Uh, next two months after. Christmas Underground. I got together with the rest of the security boys and staff and had a little party. Best gift they got handed out was a fancy lead snack cake that wasn't too stale. Well, that's nice. Uh, none of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They're hiding something from us. <laughs> they hiding something from us? Ugh, my brain wasn't reading that correctly. Another company secret only for the higher-ups? Whatever, just a few more months until the all-clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. And only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir-crazy. Some people are even saying the all-clear signal is never coming. And it never will. That's pretty much true of all of them. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on, I just know it. You're probably right there, bub. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. That's the door we noticed earlier. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. Yep, yeah, that's what I figured. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Okay. No all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. 
Oh, that's 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 quite a bit starving there. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vaults. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there are going to be consequences. Ooh. I like how he put that in quotes. <laughs> like he doesn't believe that. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Alrighty. Good on you, then. Get out of here. And I think I collected everything I can out of here. Oh. A uh, cigar box and cigarette. Don't know what they're going to be useful for, but at least I can probably sell them. Alright, let's get through here. Oh. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. You hey, little shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Take your meat. Giant. Roaches. What the hell? Yep. Yeah, that's how it goes, buddy. He'll learn soon enough. Nothing in the refrigerator, apparently. Uh, there we go. Get all these beer bottles, because if they're not good for something, they're. I can at least remake some beer and put them in, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with useful ways I can recycle this stuff. Ooh, hot plate. Take that. That's probably useful. Recreation terminal. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Okay. Eject holotape red menace. Oh! Oh, I know this game. Top 10 is probably the high score, so we only going to look for that. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get a little bit of this going. Whoop. Okay. Oh, boy. Whoop. Oh, I thought I could jump on the ladder. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll not, we won't do this. I'll just eject the hollow tape so we can do that later. At our discretion, of course. Ooh. This looks new. Well, not new per se, but... That... The lighting there is a little weird. I don't think that's how it's supposed to do it. Or maybe it is, considering is that trained on it. I don't know. Yep. Looks like this place was ransacked. Or at least this particular area. Then again, they were running out of supplies, so that may be, you know, them trying to find more food when they were able to. Oh. Oh! Well, you did. Okay. Oh, let's back up. Back up. Okay. Yeah, if that killed it, it would certainly start to kill me. So, let's try to avoid that if at all possible. Oh, look. Alternate route. Oh, jeez. What the? What happened Whoa. here? Where is everyone? Yeah, everyone's apparently dead. There we go. From the look of that skeleton, anyway. Everyone's dead. Skellington. I <laughs> didn't even mean to say that on purpose. Oh, jeez. Okay, got a bunch of them over here. And they're just backing up. Apparently, I'm a bit intimidating for them. Okay, let's get in here. Oh! Wait, was this sliding door? No, this didn't have any markings, so... I assume, from the look of it, uh, this must be the Overseer's. Stimpaks restore 30% of your max health, heal damaged limbs, and can be favorited for quick use. And I think, yeah, it's at the bottom for that. Security baton's there. Take the rounds and the pistol. There we go. Take that. Uh, eyeglasses. Well, I'll take... I assume this is the Overseer here. Is this all that's left? Apparently. Uh, yeah. Oh! Cryolator. Yeah, we yeah we all know about that thing by now. Everyone who's watching this knows what the hell is uh, up with that. But uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a whole different kettle of fish. That we're oh uh oh my controller batteries died. Give me just a moment. Alrighty, now we're back. Okay, 
Now let's get going a little bit. Preserved cigarette pack, okay. And we'll take whatever loot we can out of this place. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much left. Ooh, right away. Take that. Okay. Oh, I just realized I might not have... I don't think I checked the one prior to this. The little bathroom in the other spot. Uh, let's have it set to the baton for the moment. Oh, it's so nice to have a sprint button in this game. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. Don't think I checked. I'm pretty sure there's a bathroom somewhere in here. There's at least another bathroom. Nope, that's not it. Um, it's where I found the hot plate, so this is not it. Or at least I think there was a bathroom where I found the hot plate. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, it would have been in here if there was anything. Yeah, there it is. Nope, there was no mirror. Well, shit. Cleanliness is godliness. Yeah, about that. That's, uh, that's not a... <laughs> that's actually kind of a thing. And that's why, uh, radiation damage is really difficult to uh, avoid. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah. yeah, let's try to avoid touching him. Let's open up this uh, security tunnel here. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. Cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Well, that's a way to do it. And probably useful. I'm not going to use it, but... The overseer instructions. Uh, this, as before, stuff. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Rude. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Wow. That's fucked up. Okay. Overseer's eyes only. This looks basically the same as before. Maybe evacuated at overseer discretion, and I guess he decided not to do it if a mutiny was what was described in the prior computer. Uh, overseer's log. Yeah, mutiny. Yeah, mutiny is the last message, so yeah, that's true. Final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down to Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. vault superiors, supervisors, came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future revealed. Yeah, you say that. You say that. It happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. So, you just disregarded he was missing? Jesus. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. Yeah, that's true. We, we did make it. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Or we didn't know what the fuck they were. We just went with what you told us. Asshole. Systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Uh, I'm trying to combine the words and that's screwing me over. Nothing life-threatening but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope these systems, their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Well, apparently not. Uh, there's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180 days mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. Despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. 
The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone in the if the vault was <laughs> be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. There we go. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I'm I'm not entirely sure, but I think the 180 days was a fail safe and case that it was actually over the time that it normally takes a clear fallout. Um, if I remember back in the other game, they mentioned that it only takes a few weeks, and then it all out to clear. At least under the survivalist's uh, version of events. And uh, he was doing it without any sort of help, really, whatsoever. Okay. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Wow. That's gonna be fun. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vaults. Idiot. <laughs> I put the plural in the wrong spot there. <laughs> allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Wow. He went full on dictatorship here. Personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Yay. Okay, let's get going. Seems like less of a uh, awesome moment. I have a feeling I might need this. Yep. yep. There you go. And they're gonna keep coming, I'm sure. Oh. Oh my. Okay. I'm managing to get them before they come this far, but then they're running away for the rest of them. Oh. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, oh jeez. There you go. Now you're dead. Well, that was weird. Okay, now I think we got all of them. Okay, let's reload. There we go. I meant to hit the reload button, but then it sent me the transfer menu, even though I didn't want to. Alrighty. There we go. Now this is the exit zone. Yeah, that definitely shows that it's the vault door. Oh. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. And dead. Haha. <laughs> Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Nope. By the look of it, that did not happen. And this one's dead. Take the pit boy. Hey. Well, that was easy. Slip that on there. There we go. Get it on. Clean off that screen. Yeah, that's dirty as fuck. There we go. Sixty-four kilobyte RAMs. Well, considering the size of the thing, that's actually kind of impressive. But geez. All right. Now we have a basic look at all of our stuff. There are special perks here. Uh, yeah, luck's kind of shit. Everything else is pretty decent. Uh, yeah, we got our pistols here. Oh, pop on the new one. See how that looks. Ooh, that looks much more, you know, clean and nice. I like it. I like it. I'm going to keep that on. And we got the red roach meat, rat away, stim pack. Little, uh, game here. There we go. Yep, we're pretty much all good. Now let's uh, open up this vault door. There we go. Yeah, this episode's running a little over time. <laughs> a little bit. Aha! Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. As far back as it's gonna get.
Ooh. Ah, I just noticed those lights on the side there. Oh man, the music. Gotta love it. Alright, I'm gonna pick up... Ooh, more rounds. And that. Some more rounds there. Alright. And, yeah, those just move independently of the whole thing. Okay, cool. Now I know. Oh, and now this opens from this side. Okay, great. They could have just done that, but no, no. Intelligence is apparently not a forte in this entire place of scientists. Oh, that's a little flooded. I don't want to go down there. Kind of don't want to. Ooh, frame rate shit a little bit there. All right. And we'll head out here, and I think I'll end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.